Good day everyone. As you may recall in the previous video that I did, the whole object was to take a bunch of kids who were competing in punt, pass, and kick, total up their scores, and then separate the boys from the girls, and then separate the 8, 9 year olds from the 10, 11s, the 12, 13s, the 14, 15s. And then within each one of those groups, sort those so that we would know who was the winner in the 8 and 9 year olds group female division the uh, winner in the 10, 11 year olds group female division and so on and so on. Well, uh, I had one oversight when I showed you how to do this last time. Uh, I was correct in saying that if we wanted the females separated from the males, we wanted the eight nines separated from the tens and elevens, and then within each of those groups we wanted their total scores, that we would go about this in reverse order. So basically these are the major groups that we want to sort on, and this is the order that we would like them separated in two. But the way you do that is to go in reverse order. So just to uh, refresh your memory, uh, before we go too much further, let me hide this column because this one is not going to really help us. We will hide. Okay. Now then, total score. We're going to sort on total score. This is my total score uh, column, one cell, and then we're going to sort in descending order because we want the largest number at the top. So there's the largest. Now age group, I'm going to click one cell in the age column and we're going to sort that so that the youngest kids are represented at the top so that would be sort ascending all right now i have my eights and my nines and my tens then lastly we want to make sure only females are at the top and then males are towards the bottom of the list we could sort that either way but that's just the way that i've chosen to do it today so that is sort ascending all right now all there's all the females here are the eights and the nines, <clears throat> but when you look at the eights and the nines and their scores, we see, yeah, the kid with 7,800 definitely wins, the kid with 3,011 definitely wins, but here in third place, we've got a kid who has 1,322 points, next place, 2,078, so that should be reversed. So, the better way, once we get to this point, really what we need to do is to tell Excel within the eight and nine year old group we want to sort only on this grand total column. Well normally you know we'd click one time in the grand total and then uh, click descending and then it would sort this. Problem is it'll sort this entire column but we don't want it to do that. We only want it to do it within this eight and nine grouping. So with these few uh, eight and nine year olds grouped, here's what you do next. In uh, Excel 2000, 2003, you go to the data menu. In 2007, 2010, uh, there's a data tab that you would go to. So here I'll click on data, tell it I want to sort, and now it's asking us which one of the divisions do you want to sort upon. Before I can go too much further, I should tell Excel that I do not have a header row. Header row is this section up here called name, gender, birthday. I didn't select that. We do have a header row, but we're not using the header row. Uh, that's I could have used it in this instance. I just chose not to. But we're going to tell Excel we do not have a header row, and now it took out those names of our labels, name, gender, birthday, and put in place column A. What I want to do is sort this on column K, which is where the grand total is. So I'm going to click the drop down, go down to K, give that a click, and then I want it to sort descending. We want the largest ones at the top. All right. Now notice that I have uh, eights and nines selected focus of the computer is only on these records. I'll hit OK and it only sorted these participants. So now we have 7800, 3011, 2078, 1322, and 1161. So that's sorted correctly. Let's do the tens and elevens right quick. So there's down to the elevens. Come down one more and we'll do the same thing. Data, sort, no header row, sort on K, descending. I'm going to pull this down a little bit just so that you can see that all these records may shuffle, but the ones below and above will not. 
OK. And they did shuffle. Now we have 3267 at the top, 1605 at the bottom, and we see that they're properly oriented. We'll do it one last time. So here's the 12, and we need 12 and 13s. There's my 12 and 13s. Data, sort, sort by column K, descending, no header row, click OK. And now they shuffle so that everybody within this age group is properly oriented. All right, one other quick thing I wanted to show you. Uh, there were some players that were too old. See, here's a 54-year-old, a 54-year-old, a 17-year-old, 16-year-old. You have to be no older than 15 to participate in this. So if we were to put an if statement in here, we, it would help us to sort those out. What we're looking for is we're going to say uh, if and then open parentheses it wants to know a logical test. A logical test is when you point to a cell and ask it is this true or false and we're saying that if this is greater than 15 then we want a statement to come up we're going to call it uh, disqualified. Disqualified. And then otherwise, we're going to say a legal participant. Ended in quotation marks. All right. So we'll close that. And I'm going to do Control Enter. And it's telling us that that is a legal participant. I'm going to double click the fill handle to send it down. Here is somebody that's disqualified. Come over and see that their age is 16. All right, we'll go down and see. Better yet, let's sort on their eligibility. E L I G I B I L I T Y. I'm going to press F7 to see if I have that spelled properly. It is. F7 is your spell check, by the way. OK, enter. Now then, we can have one cell selected in the M column, which is eligibility, and we will sort that so that the disqualified guys will come to the top. That would be ascending. And now then, everybody that's disqualified is listed right at the top. And we see that we have a couple of 16-year-olds, one 17-year-old, and two 54-year-olds. Let's crack open this formula and just see how it works. It's saying if the quantity in D2 is greater than 15, so the quantity in D2 is over here, it's the 16, if that is greater than 15, then do this if it is true. Put the word disqualified in this cell. Otherwise, put the word legal participant in the cell. And that's how a uh, if statement works. All right, that's enough for this time. We'll catch you later.